investigation into a recent land purchase. Tonight, the Carroll County prosecutor tells News 18 that no criminal charges will be filed. City officials say they are not at fault. Do you believe something criminal was done? No, sir, I don't. No. Comments backed up by the city attorney and the county prosecutor. So, how would you ca just categorize that as a mistake, or how would you categorize what happened then? Well, it's, a, it's more of a procedural thing. The issue this land on Hamilton Street between Deer Creek and the Delphi Youth Baseball Fields. As News 18 reported last week, a deed dated July 30th shows the city buying a quarter of an acre for $7,100. But it's something that the city council had not voted on. Was there a mistake? Yeah, we're, we're not denying that there was a, there, that somebody made a mistake. Mayor Randy Strasser says that somebody was Stephen Kleinman of Specialized Land Services, a subcontractor for the engineering firm retained by Delphi to oversee the project. Strasser says the city's plans to buy the property date back to 2009, when it obtained a $445,000 grant from the Indiana Department of Transportation. He compares what happened to someone getting a deed to a house or vehicle before payment has been made. He says buying the property is the last step to building the Inner Urban Trail project, a trail connecting the third of a mile between Hamilton Street and Washington Street. But the benefits are, are more than just a trail down through there. It helps, you know, increase uh, the safety of that embankment during flood stages, and it, it gets kids off the streets as well. A project that's due to go out to bid next month, with construction beginning in another 60 to 90 days. Dale Seward, a Republican candidate for Delphi City Council who brought up the problem to us last week, says he still has some questions about the city's account of events. City Attorney Brock Dawson tells News 18 he has a concern that the deed was prepared in his name, but without his knowledge. But in the end, these issues or mistakes do not affect the ability for the city council to vote to buy the land at their meeting next month if they choose. He anticipates the city will not take any legal actions against any of the parties involved. A message left this evening for Stephen Kleinman at Specialized Land Services was not returned.